वेलकम बैक गाइस होप एवरीवन डूइंग वेल आई एम बैक अगेन विद अ न्यू सिनेरी ऑफ वाजू टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ यू कैन कंट्रोल और इग्नोर द लॉग्स फ्रॉम द एजेंट In detail, you can say if you want to filter or minimize or control the logs that Wazoo agent sent to Wazoo server, how you can do that? Simply log in to your Wazoo server. first i am going to install agent i am going to install agent on windows what is the server address this is the server address agent name my whatever you want to name your agents in the server simply you have to copy this command open the powershell of the host run it as an administrator simply paste this command press takes a while to get the wazu agent installed the next command is to start the service okay the service has been started successfully you can also verify that the wazu agent has been installed and the service is in the running state Okay, let's move to our dashboard. So the Wazoo agent has been installed successfully. Before this installation, zero agent were shown in the total agents, and every status of this agent was zero. And now total agent. Trace to one and never connected agent also valued one. Soon it will move to active agents. Now how you can see the agents or uh, agents log? Simply you have to go to this security event on the main dashboard. Click on it. it just got these logs it's the first time installation that's why it will send all the logs now what and how we can stop or minimize the number of logs that wazoo agent sent to the wazoo server okay in this topic i am going to cover one more thing if you want to minimize the log or you want to make customize log or you want to make readable short log of particular agent i am going to show you how you can do this you simply have to go to main menu click on this discover button i am going to select my agent by creating a filter i will make 
and other video of how you can create filters in the wazoo to read the logs for the particular agent or for the particular event whatever you can say you have to type the field agent name operator is the condition uh, i'm going to explain a little uh, what is this operator uh, for example i want to say case case is one agent if you want to see the logs for only single agent you will select is if you do not want to see any log of particular agent you will select is not if you want to see logs of multiple agents you will select one is one of is one of mean i if you install agent on five host or windows machine one of them is this is not one of them exist does not exist you will understand currently i have only two agents what is wazoo server and one is my machine click on this save button you can set the time interval from here as well now i am going to make this little more customize agent name this is the agent name now uh, description of the rules or the logs rule id here come the rule id now the one most cricket uh, critical is the event id is the one we are going to add that event id in the agent configuration file that will control and minimize the number of logs okay event id is not the thing is any a uh, not an event id based log has been triggered yet so i am going to show you how you can do that i simply have to go to the folder and click on ozek agent go to the configuration file maximize that configuration file this is the part where you have to enter that particular event id for the corresponding rule id now i am going to uh, explain little more about this this rule id is correspond or parallel to the event id if we want to control the logs from the windows based host or the agent you have to identify the event id for the particular rule and copy that event id in this tag if you want to add an other event id here you simply have to add space paste this syntax and add this event i add that event id over here and save this configuration file 
next step you have to do is what you have to restart the wazoo agent service that will do what that will do what the agent will stop sending that particular log to the windows server the question is why we do this because we want to ignore unnecessary logs that we do not need in the in the wazoo server the uh, those logs were you utilizing excessive space okay that's the event id it's a pair this is the event id you have to every time add if i do not want to receive this log on my window wazoo server because because it's not i must say it's not that much important i just want to monitor critical logs uh disaster base or high value or logs in that scenario what i will do i will add the email id for that particular log in my agent configuration file and i will save that configuration file after that i will restart the service of wazoo agent that will stop sending logs to the wazoo server it will save our space for the wazu server i hope you guys understood very well that how you can ignore control or minimize the number of logs that wazu agent sent to the server this is the scenario for windows based host machine and point thank you for watching please uh, stay tuned like and subscribe my channel stay blessed thank you for watching